What's going on everybody and welcome back. That's right, Road to Pro. I know, it's been a minute. There hasn't been a lot to talk about, but in recent news, and I, I've been hesitant on making this video, I just want to be clear. In recent news, the aerial is back. So, how do you do it? When do you do it? Should you do it? It's legal, but it, how effective is it? Let's talk about that. Let's get right into the video. Let's get right onto the table. And let me tell you if I think it's worth it or not. Should you learn it? Maybe. Step one, guys, is how to even do the shot. Um, I think it's a lot harder than it used to be, personally. But with this new technique, I think you guys are going to be able to figure it out pretty easy. But first and foremost, what you want to do, the back part of the foot of this guy needs to be perpendicular to the table. So straight up and down. The ball over here, that needs to be just behind the rod like you see it. Then it's as simple as swinging with your goalie guy. And then once it hits the back of this foot, you scoop together. Once you have it popped up, the old way you used to flip it onto the back of the guy. Well, I actually think that the old school way has gone by the wayside. The new and faster way is to actually pinch the ball down the table. So, how do you do that? The best way to explain it is once you have the ball in the pinch position, you can now move it back and forth. And with all your right hand, and specifically only your right hand, you pinch it out. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I want you to know that this shot isn't as easy as it used to be. Um, back in the day, this shot used to be much easier, and I feel like much more consistent. Um, it changes from table to table, it changes from ball to ball, and it changes just constantly. Uh, I also think the humidity, in the place that you're playing has has to do with it and I think how tired you are from playing also has a factor because um, you start losing the ability to scoop hitting it too hard and I'll hit it too hard right now does that affect it won't pop correctly and too soft the ball doesn't pop at all something I really want to harp on guys is that when you're shooting an aerial it's not about scoring Okay, the reason it makes it so effective is it's 100% clear if you're good at it. If you can get the ball to consistently land in this area, it's 100% clear. And it'll probably fall in more often than not if you're high percentage landing in this zone. But if you can't consistently do that, I would not suggest doing this shot. If you can learn to be that consistent, yes, I say it's probably one of the most effective clears in foosball, period. If you cannot do that on a consistent basis, in tournament, it's not worth doing. That kind of a clear on a consistent level is perfect. All right, everybody. Well, in conclusion, and, and I feel like I need to really express how controversial I personally feel about the shot. On one hand, I think it's super fun. I think it's great for the sport um, because it's flashy, it's fun, it's cool. Um, not everybody can do it. It's something that I think will allow for viewership. I think people will really like seeing this shot who aren't foosball players. It'll bring new people into the game. However, I do think it's gonna remove and, and really mess with people that have good zones. I think we're gonna see some zones fall apart. 
because of this shot. You won't need a zone as much. Um, I think people will start to abuse this a little bit um, because it's 100% clear. I can't tell you how many times in a big match against a mat, like a great player that if I had a guaranteed 100% clear, I'd use it every time because I know that it's a clear no matter what. I'm giving a chance to my forward. It's not, uh, maybe I shouldn't shoot that shot or uh, I better not shoot this down the middle. I'm probably going to get spiked. It's a clear, guaranteed. You're not getting spiked. You're not getting a turnover. Nothing. So, and, and you can even see I've, I'm in a different shirt now. I, this is two days that I've gone shooting this video because of how back and forth I am on what I think this shot is and is not. Um, I don't think you should learn it if you're a new player. I think this is a shot that you should learn if you've been playing the game for a long time. Um, and you, you kind of want that out as a goalie. Um, I don't think that this is some, the only thing you should learn. If you're gonna be a goalie, I don't think this is the only thing you should learn. I think you need to learn ball control. I think you need to learn to shoot other shots and play the game the way it's meant to be played. This shot, I don't wanna call a gimmick. It is not a gimmick. If anybody tells you it's a gimmick and there's some amazing goalie that's never gonna get one scored on them, they are lying to you. Lying to you, I promise you. They are gonna get this scored on them at some point in time, it's gonna happen. I'm not saying it's gonna be a high percentage. I'm not thinking saying that people are gonna score this at a high percentage. I don't think that scoring this shot is the right way of putting it. I don't think you should even attempt to score this. I think shooting it and putting it inside of that zone is the key. I think you're gonna get rebounds. I think that you're going to get clears every single time. That's what this shot is good for, folks. And if you use it for what it's meant to be for, boy, it's gonna to be tough to beat. It's gonna to be tough to play against, and it's gonna change the game of foosball, in my opinion, again, for the better. I think this shot is gonna make the game better because it's gonna bring viewers to the game. People wanna see matches ended with an aerial. They want to see score, points scored with crazy cool trick shots. They like it. It's what people want. It's why people like um, Dude Perfect have a bajillion subscribers on YouTube. It's because they do trick shots and they're amazing at them. Given, yeah, it takes them a million tries to do it, but if it's on camera, it looks amazing. It's that simple, guys. Truly, truly believe that this is gonna be game-changing. I really do. Now that you know how to do it, now that you know what to do and how to do it, check it out. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, happy foozin. <laughs>